you. Good morning, everybody. From Fremantle. We changed neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. The CBD area, the central business district mm -hmm. of Perth. Uh, we just got the impression it was kind of expensive and very city-like. So we came to Fremantle, which is like a much more beachy mm -hmm. neighborhood. 30 minute train away. And look at this hotel room. Cute. So Chibia found this. It's called the local hotel. It's seventy two dollars a night. Oh my gosh! Look at this. It's so cute. It's it's like this old Victorian building. Mm -hmm. um, there's shared bathrooms, but the rooms are just they're beautiful. They're so nice. It has air conditioning. The mm. bed's super comfortable. Coffee. But we're not here for the hotel. What are we here for? <laughs> Just a little bit that way is a ferry that will take us to Rottnest Island. And on the island, there's a special little, little creature that we're going to go visit. And it's a 30 minute walk. And the ferry leaves in 35 minutes. Let's go. This town is so nice. It's adorable. It's like this cute little, I don't know, like suburb, I guess. Mm -hmm. and in Perth. In Perth, and it, everyone has like these little yards and flowers, and ah, it's so peaceful and quiet. I love it. Yeah, it's got the like the slightly dry, deserty vibe of mm -hmm. Southern California, except it's just like way more laid back. Here it is. We just came in over here. This is Rottnest Island. Oh my gosh. I can already see the sand on the beach is like this really, really nice white fine sand and everyone's like riding bicycles. It's, it's so much cool. cooler than the mainland too. Mm -hmm. So we have some goals <laughs> on Rottnest Island. Yes. Okay. So the game plan. The game plan. First of all, we did not rent bikes because mm -hmm. it would have been about $45 for two bikes for the day. Yeah. And we're just going to try and save some money. but. It's only six miles to the other end of the island. So the first goal today is to walk to walk there across the entire island to the furthest point we can. Based on a Google image, <laughs> Tia saw that there's there's popsicles and beer at the other end. Goal two. This island is known for the special animal called quakas. Quakas. And they're like I don't know if they're rodents or marsupials. They're marsupials. Yeah. But they have no natural predators on this island, so though they are wild animals, mm -hmm. apparently you can just walk up to them and hang out with them. You're still not supposed to touch them, so mm -hmm. we're not going to do that. But yeah. that's the they're main supposed reason to be very here. cute. Yeah. It was the third one, wasn't there? Oh, the third one is we brought sandwiches and Tia wants to have a nice picnic. Yeah. So that should be nice. <sighs> okay. I ready? You ready? Yeah. So for those wondering, the ferry right there cost. Around a hundred dollars, just about a hundred dollars for the two of us round trip, so definitely pricey, but not so bad. It takes about 30 minutes. Also, Tia found quakas. They were staying right behind us the whole time. Since they're so friendly, you can take selfies with them. That's kind of like the main draw of this island. But this one's under a bush, I don't want to crawl under it. But I feel like we'll have a chance some, sometime today. Look how comfortable he is. He did, he just fell asleep. That's crazy. This place is hopping. It's like very busy, it's very developed here. I thought it would be this tiny little undeveloped island, but there's like a lot, and there's houses and hotels. I think there's even an airport here. I like how every single door has these like plastic gates so walkers don't go inside like subway and stuff. <laughs> there's even a bus, which really makes me wonder what we're getting into. What'd you say?
there's these inland lakes. They're salt lakes. And, and they're kind of pink. Mm -hmm. And they smell really, really bad. <laughs> it smells so bad. I wonder if it's like all these birds nesting the area and then it just kind of sits on the shore. And it just, yeah, it smells not it's fun. It's <laughs> kind of pretty to look at though. And it's kind mm -hmm. of cool that such a small island has these lakes. Mm -hmm. So a little bit of history. Um, the First uh, First Nation or the Aborigine people lived here for a few thousand years, but then when their oceans rose and it separated from the mainland, then they weren't here anymore. It was later used as a prison colony for Aboriginal peoples. For about a hundred years from the 1830s to the 1930s, there was, mm -hmm. it was a labor camp, all of that horrific stuff. I think there was also at some point a Dutch, the Dutch came and started salt mining and and now it's like a nature preserve for the Kuakas. Yeah, I think this island is pretty unique ecologically, so they're doing their best to preserve it now. Mm -hmm. And also, the lady from the other day who told us about the fireworks show said that they called it rat's nest because they, when they first, the Dutch first came here, they thought the Kuaka were rats. Obviously, they, they do aren't. have little rat tails. They but, do. Yeah. Is that salt? Corky. We made it to the halfway point. <laughs> this is called Wad. We should look that up. Okay. This is called Wadjimup Lighthouse. Mm -hmm. It's the highest point on the island, and we can see pretty far. We can see how far we have come, and it's not very We're, far at all. <laughs> it's about the halfway point, right? Yeah, about three miles in. We have another three and a half or so to go. Do mm -hmm. for scale. <laughs> There she is, there's Tia. Good size lighthouse. Also the guys who work in this lighthouse are very nice. They oh, gave us so water. Nice. They think that we're insane for walking across the island. Yeah, they're like, what? why aren't you just renting a bike and doing it? <laughs> no one walks this. It's nice, there's like a constant breeze, so mm -hmm. it's hot, but it's not intolerable. Yeah. Uh, we have not run into any of the... Uh... The quokkas. No, we haven't. Uh, I think they're nocturnal. You ready to get to the end of this? Yep. We're in some kind of field where they're growing stuff. It's also very hot. We do have water and we have sunscreen, so that's good. I don't think a lot of people walk across this island. How are you feeling? Grand. Grand? I'm grand. Ask me in like another hour. How are you feeling right now? Scale from one to 10, how happy are you that we decided to do this? It's still like, like it's like an eight. It's like a seven. I for one love how remote it feels. Mm. We've been a lot of places over the last two years, but very rarely have we had an opportunity mm -hmm to get somewhere so isolated. I think partially we've been to very populated countries, which Australia is not. And partially we rely on public transportation so much. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at this. Let's do the whole 360. Da, 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 da. Yeah, there's just nothing. I it's so it. cool. There's nothing but the wind, the sound of insects and birds. And the sun. By the way, if we get a chance, I'm going to show it. We can't right now because there aren't any around, but the crows here, well, they're, they're not crows, but they sound like an angry cat. <laughs> you know when a cat is like really upset, it starts to make that growling noise? Yeah. They sound just like that. It's, it's so funny. <laughs> this is the kind of content you click on these videos for. Yeah, we should probably stop. <laughs> Oops. Oh. 
That was unintentional. This is not beer. No, they didn't have any, but they had ice cold sodas, so I'm ecstatic. Oh! Here, crack it open. Oh. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. Okay. It actually tastes really good. Yeah, that's amazing. So, this is the west point of Rottnest Island. It's called Cape La. Vlaming. 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 The first Anglo country we've come to and we still can't pronounce the words. <laughs> we talked to the guy at the lighthouse and he says this time of day the water is incredibly blue and you can see there's boats out and there's moss growing everywhere. Sometimes you can see whales. It took us about two hours to hike here. That was six and a half miles. Yep. We have to turn around in order to get make the last ferry. But I think on the way we're going to try and go to one of those beaches because the beaches, they really look just absolutely pristine. And we still have lunch that we need to eat. Cheers. Tia did get a popsicle. It's Just melting! The record straight. <laughs> oh, that was so nice. <laughs> Probably the best sandwiches. They're a little squished and really warm, but these are definitely the best sandwiches we've ever had. The cheese melts it. It's like grilled cheese. <laughs> <laughs> this beach is, oh my god, it's stunning. We're the only people here. There are a bunch of people that have boats over there, mm -hmm. but we're the only ones on the beach. It's yeah. in this cove, so the waves are very small. and It's so clear and so blue. Oh my gosh. Cheers to the best picnic ever. Aww. We're on our way back. I think we've got like a five mile hike. We're trying to get back to the main town um, a little bit before our boat takes off because Tia really wants the thumbnail to be her posing with one of the little quokka things. So, fingers crossed for that one. We found one of them. He's so cute. Oh my gosh. Kind of looks like a mix between a rat and a kangaroo. Yeah, it does. Like the way that he's on his hind legs like that. Yeah, and his like tail and stuff. Yeah. This is what I was talking about earlier with the birds. They look a lot like crows. I'm not sure if they are though. We're waiting for our ferry. That was an amazing day. We that got, is so cool. We got on here on the first ferry of the day and we're leaving on the last, so we spent the entire day here. It was just, it was freaking awesome. It was so cool. cool. We're both a little sunburned. <laughs> in spite of the sunscreen, but mm -hmm. it was totally worth it. And the Kowakos, I thought like it'd be one or two and maybe we'll spot one, but they're, they're everywhere. They really don't care if you like. Yeah, they really don't. They have like nothing to fear. That was probably the best picture, the thumbnail for this video, it's probably the best picture I think we've ever taken. <laughs> also you guys, um, we just did want to say that experience like this only mm -hmm. happened because of Buy Me A Coffee. Mm -hmm. um, just just thank everything we did today, the tickets, everything, yeah. uh, actually a nice person reached out and paid for the tickets mm -hmm. to this place and uh, everything. Yes. the drinks and everything that we had today so, so just really appreciate you guys yeah uh, yeah you guys are absolutely awesome we never it's expected never, never yeah. expected but it's appreciated yeah we're gonna leave it there and we'll see you guys in the next one everyone have a great day subscribe <laughs> oh yeah i can <laughs> <laughs>
You're such an idiot. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Yeah, what are you trying to look like a Hallmark postcard or something? I'm including all of this so people know the real side <laughs> of Tia. Oh my god. Did you say? I'm trying to get air underneath my armpits. You're trying what? Air. Under your air armpits? Air up my armpits. Oh wow, this just really stinks. Yeah. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it's hot. It's now. It's Aldi grocery bag. <laughs> I need two hands. <laughs> 